If you look at maps of the Americas ranging from the 16th to the 20th centuries, many of them have an island within the Gulf of Mexico called Bermeja. But on modern maps, it's not there. So where is it? Did past cartographers make a mistake? Did the sea swallow it up? Or did the US government erase it from existence? It's unclear who discovered the island, but it first appeared on a map by a Spanish cartographer named Alonso de Santa Cruz in 1539. The following year, an Alonso de Chavez provided the island's exact coordinates and described it as being blondish or reddish. Bermeja actually means red or auburn in Spanish. The island continued to be labeled on maps for centuries, even though no other confirmed sightings occurred. It wasn't until 1922 that the island of Bermeja made its final appearance, where it was shown in the geographic atlas of the Mexican Republic. The island was pretty much forgotten about until three quarters of a century later, when in 1997 the US and Mexican governments were in negotiations over oil around the Yucatan Peninsula. A country's sovereign right to resources extends 200 miles into the sea from the country's land borders. This is called the Exclusive Economic Zone, or EEZ for short. This was codified in 1982 in the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. But this left a couple gaps, or what is referred to as donut holes, between the United States and Mexico. So neither country could claim any oil or other natural resources in these areas. And so, in 1997, the two countries came together to split up the western gap. But if Bermeja existed where it was shown on old maps, then Mexico's EEZ would stretch into the donut hole. Mexico sent a navy vessel to find the island, but when the navy ship reached what should have been its location, they found nothing but empty ocean. With no island found, Mexico had to agree to less territorial rights within the donut hole than they had hoped. However, the two countries agreed to hold off on starting any drilling projects until 2011, so Mexico hadn't lost hope quite yet. They still had time to prove Bermeja existed and possibly reverse the agreement before it was too late. In 2009, Mexico sent out a research vessel named Justo Sierra with a team of experts from the National Autonomous University of Mexico. They scanned the ocean floor and even had aircraft fly overhead in case the island wasn't at the expected coordinates. But even these highly trained professionals with high-tech equipment and vehicles came up empty-handed. This brings us back to the original questions. What happened to it? How can an island that had been shown on maps for centuries just disappear? These circumstances certainly made Bermeja's disappearance suspicious. Many theories on how the island disappeared have been proposed. Some believe it was natural forces that destroyed the island, such as rising sea levels due to climate change, an earthquake that sank the island, or that the island was made of coral and the coral must have died causing the island to fall apart. However, these ideas were ruled out by the previously mentioned investigations, and a group of Mexican senators in 2010 even admitted when referring to a possible earthquake that such a force of nature does not take place without anyone noticing, and much less when it is sitting in an area with more than 22 billion barrels of oil reserves. So what else could have caused this island to suddenly vanish? Some believe that Bermeja was deliberately destroyed by someone that would benefit from its disappearance. In 1998, the chairman of one of Mexico's four main political parties demanded further investigation into the island's existence and warned about what he believed was a secret plan by the current Mexican government to give up exploration rights in the region to U.S. companies. And just months later, he was driven off the road and killed. His killer was never caught, adding fuel to his conspiracy. In November of 2000, six senators stated on the Senate floor that they believed the island was purposely destroyed by the United States. Professors at two different Mexican universities came to the conclusion that to destroy the island, a hydrogen bomb would be required. One added that maybe just the top of the island above the water had been shaved off. These statements only added more fuel to the conspiracy theory. It specifically pointed to the United States government, since only they had the capability and motive to do such a thing. Mexican lawmaker Elias Cardenas 
summed up the two existing theories that believers of the island held at the time. There are two stories about how it disappeared. One is that global warming raised the sea level, and it is underwater. The other is that it was blown up by the CIA, so that the United States would get the upper hand in Hoyos de Dona. Hoyos de Dona meaning donut hole. But geographers, even within Mexico, tend to disagree with the politicians' conspiracies. The president of the Mexican Society of Geography, Julio Zamora, believed the island probably never existed to begin with, stating that, Countries making maps in the 16th and 17th centuries published them with inaccuracies to prevent their enemies from using them. A German oceanographer agreed with Zamora, adding that, If you look at the latest marine maps and data of the Earth, there is no indication there ever had been an island. But a professor of natural hazards at UNAM believes it's still out there somewhere. We've encountered documents containing very precise descriptions of Bermeja's existence. On this basis, we firmly believe that the island of Bermeja did exist, but in another location. Though I can't seem to find what documents she's referring to outside of the many published maps. Maybe she's right. Maybe the island of Bermeja is still somewhere out there in the ocean just not where it was previously described. Or it's just another island in the Gulf that we know to exist, and the original descriptions were just a case of a disoriented sailor. We may never know for sure. So what do you think happened to the island? Was it a mistake, a lie, destroyed by natural forces, or by the CIA? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching.